Gertrude Walters was deeply religious. She told Swamiji that throughout her pregnancy with him, she was filled with an inward joy. Lord, she prayed repeatedly, this first child I give to thee. Swami Kriyananda. In the book of Matthew, it says, Ye shall know them by their fruits. What were the fruits of Swami Kriyananda's life? Look into the eyes of his friends. Joy. I first met Swami in early 1967, a little over 41 years ago, and literally my lessons with him began at the very moment that I met him. He introduced, uh, I had um, found, uh, my brother-in-law had found his address uh, after reading the autobiography, he get, was talking with someone about how wonderful that book was. And this person said, well, I know where there's a direct disciple of Yogananda who's living in San Francisco. We were in San Jose at the time and uh, gave us his address. And we went one Sunday afternoon and knocked on his door and he opened it, a little apartment in the avenues in San Francisco. And he in, introduced himself, we introduced ourselves, and he invited us in and said, I'm working on a project, would you like to help? <laughs> and when I said yes to that, that was the beginning of a long life of association. But so the, the relationship began immediately. The, not only was he inviting me to join with him, and he's made that same invitation, as I've said, to many thousands of people. So that invitation to join with him, but that after that very afternoon, he did two things. One, we worked on his project, which was he was doing classes in San Francisco, and he was sending out a mailing. And so we were addressing envelopes and putting stamps on and stuffing the little flyer in and sending that out. 
But then we went out uh, after we finished for a picnic in Golden Gate Park. And at that time, he began talking about a little bit about his life with Master. Just completely naturally, he began talking about the foods that we were eating and how food had certain qualities to it. And he talked a little bit about a few foods and the qualities. Bananas represent humility, and eating bananas helps you develop that quality. Cherries are for joy, and so on. And he talked a little bit about his life with Master, and he had a guitar, and he sang a couple of songs. And it was absolutely charming in that first afternoon. He not only captured my mind, but much more importantly, he captured my heart. And from that time on, I began taking classes with him. But that is, as I say, symbolic of the relationship that he's had with so many people. He's been a teacher, he's been a friend, and he's been a model of how to live. His whole life has been dedicated to helping us understand how to live life on a higher plane. You know, he was talking yesterday about how in that walk in Charleston, South Carolina, how he had that uh, understanding that if there was a universal consciousness, only that could be God, an infinite consciousness. And it was our job to try to attune our consciousness to that. And the closer we came, the higher we were able to raise our level of consciousness, the closer we would come to that. And that is an extremely important kind of uh, metaphysical uh, concept that we should really understand the whole of life is raising our consciousness and attuning it to God. I find that my life is, has been enriched beyond possible imagination by trying to be as much like Master as I can be. But in my way, I don't adopt his accent, I don't adopt his expressions particularly, and yet I do try to feel, and this is my deepest and most constant prayer, may my thoughts be your thoughts. I pray that, I want that, and I find it is more and more true, so that a thought is implanted in my mind that just wouldn't have been there if I hadn't been thinking of him. You will see that the more you can focus yourself on this ray, and that doesn't mean to limit it to Master. It's good to pray to Sri Yukteswar. It's good to pray to Lahiri Mahashai. It's good to pray to Babaji and to Jesus. And from each one you will draw some particular quality, some particular uh, virtue, some particular way of looking at things. This is all right and beautiful. But don't think that by clinging to your own opinion and your own personality, as unattractive as it may be, and imagining that this is you, it is not. You are the eternal spirit. And as long as you're manifesting in this world, why not manifest that particular aspect of this ray that will reach people in the way Master would? So on the one hand, the closer you come to God and Master, the more you will become completely yourself. On the other hand, the more you come to this ray and to these Masters, the more you will find that you become, in a human way also, like them. And your interests and your thoughts and your reactions will be their reactions and will be beautiful because of it. Joy to you and God bless you.